It's 7.46 and I have about 20 minutes to get ready for my light coat ceremony. So let's turn into Supergirl. Whoever the girl is from Incredible. First thing I'm gonna do is just prime my face. Oh shit. I'm almost out. I just, sometimes, the sounding just sounds better in my head. And then when I'm actually up and I realize like everything that I have to do, I'm like, okay. We digress, we digress. My face is about dry. Let me straighten out my hair a little bit. Probably go back into it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some flat tippy gel. I'm gonna brush my, my eyebrows up. I go up. Same thing on the other side. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is white coat a good reason for a foundation? Um, or, or do I wanna go in with a tinted moisturizer? Let's just do foundation even though my foundation is also broke but she's too expensive to just throw away because she's broken tbh actually can do my makeup kind of fast but filming takes me a little bit longer but you're a speedy girl right now so it doesn't even matter apply this foundation everywhere and i use the laura mercier foundation the airbrush flawless foundation and the really best foundation like one of the best in the world i really love the g Fanchi. i mean the armani foundation as well but there's just something about this laura mercier that just gets me right every time so you guys saw i only put on a little bit of foundation I don't want a cake face going on i'm gonna blend out the foundation with my damp beauty blender of course i feel like i need like a hair clip really quick Time to get serious. Probably like 7.50. I'm really supposed to be there at 8, you guys, but you know, it just sounds like a little bit of delusion to be there at 8 and it doesn't start until 10. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go in with some of my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I need some more concealer, but it just costs money. We're gonna blend her out expeditiously. Expeditedly. X was something lame. Yeah, look at this blend. Look at it. High key doesn't even feel like it's my white coat ceremony. Now we're gonna highlight just a little bit. So I want to put in my contacts today. I hate putting in my contacts. It really doesn't even feel like it's my white coat ceremony today. One thing that sucks about my white coat ceremony is that we can't have guests. It's like, what do you mean I can't have guests? It's my white coat ceremony. No guests are allowed. That's super cute. Super cute. We're going, guys. We're going. This is going to be like the quickest I've done my makeup or something important. Okay, so now we're going to do... Actually, do I want to do cream contour? Like, do I really have time for that? And do I really want to blend this out? You know what? No cream contour. We'll do... Cream contour tonight before I go out. I'll redo my makeup. Now we're just gonna lightly, very lightly bake and smile lines. I have the worst smile lines actually. And then nose. I put a little bit on my forehead. I'm part of the oily forehead game. Now it's time for brows. You guys, it's only been seven minutes, eight minutes. Kind of doing well. Brows are dry, so now we're gonna fill them in. I try to fill in my brows very sparsely nowadays. I like the natural brow look. Truth be told, I never really know how my brows look until I put on my contacts or glasses because I can't even see that far. All of that off, bronzer time. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer now. This is really just my everyday makeup routine because I guess I still have to keep it classy and cute in a professional environment. I, like, I love adding bronzer to my eyelids because it just adds depth to my face. Now it's time to contour. Now if you're asking yourselves, 
why don't you get to have guests at your white coat ceremony? The number one question of 2023 for me. But apparently, a girl named COVID is back on the rise. At least that's what I've been told. Me personally, I don't know anyone who has COVID. At school, in my personal life, I don't know anybody who has COVID. Um, but I also think that we as a society, we have to decide and we're going to stop using COVID as an excuse. And I mean that in the most positive, lightest, and sensitive way. Um, we have vaccines. As a society, we need to decide right here, right now, when are we gonna start use, stop using COVID as an excuse? Literally, when are we gonna stop? Clean up our contour. So that's why there's no guests because there's a COVID outbreak apparently. I say apparently because this mandates have an issue. Still gotta go to class and I still gotta go to lab and I still gotta go to exams all in person. But I guess nobody did ask me, oh shit, that was a lot. Okay, so just cleaned up the contour. Now we're gonna curl my lashes. It is now, okay, it's only 8.01. I can definitely try to leave by 8.20 for sure. Okay, I'm most likely gonna put on the third coat after this dries and I clean up around my eye. I'm gonna go in with some blush now. Now you guys, the really big thing that I have to figure out is am I gonna wear a dress? Because the dress code says no dress, but it's like, I got a cute navy dress. And some other girls in my class are kind of just like, whatever, we're wearing a dress. So I kind of want to wear a dress too because first of all, why did you give me a dress code, my white coat ceremony? You only get one white coat ceremony. What makes you think I want to wear the school's colors? No, like my white, my white coat ceremony outfit was supposed to be, you know, an, an introductory outfit of what I'm going to look like as a doctor, which is a fine, a fine doctor, a fine and a young and sexy doctor and no <laughs> they just totally messed up the vibe for that don't know why they would do something like that I'm looking cute feeling cute we're almost done with the makeup i'm honestly so hungry i hope there's food there i didn't ask anybody okay makeup is makeup is complete i'm gonna be back with my outfit and final looks one last coat, and then also bottom lashes. Setting spray. Cannot believe I'm about out. First day ever. This only took 20 minutes. Really, I may not even wear the dress because I wore this dress for graduation. Um, I think right at San Copa back in May, and it was just a little tight, y'all. My dress was a little tight and I was like, dang, really gotta sit in this damn flat iron. Just fucking stay. Please. I do remember being like, this is tight. Ain't no way I gotta wear this for a couple of hours. So they might not even see me in the dress if I try it on and it's still too tight. This is what I don't have time for. It's a tight dress. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. Okay. Feeling, um, feeling a little cutesy. Okay guys, I just decided to change because what I have is cute. Dang, I gotta take this tag off. What I have is cute and I went through a lot to get all of this and I did spend money on this. So I'm not gonna lie, the dress was just slightly tight and I kinda wanna be comfortable today. Give away. My love, so don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love.